Hello there, my name is Kevin Wigglesworth and you are watching ABCD News. I am here to bring you the latest news update on the YouTuber Random Stuff. If you guys do not remember, he just recently purchased a dirt bike and that dirt bike costed him all of his money, which we all can agree is a very nice bike. But now the YouTuber Random Stuff does not have any money to pay bills or anything like that. But we are here with Random Stuff for a special news interview. If you look right beside me this is the place where random stuff is currently living like you can see he's got his dirt bike right over there and apparently that is his home so let's head over here and see if random stuff is home all right now we got to be very quiet because he may be sleeping right now what oh who is doing that well it looks like he is home random stuff how did you end up living in this trash can well, you see, I bought this dirt bike over here and I kind of spent all my money on it, so I had to live in this trash can. That's a really sad story, Random Stuff. I can't believe that could happen to somebody like you. Oh, Random Stuff, how do you manage to live in this trash can all by yourself? Oh, well, I'm not that lonely. I got my pet in here. Let me go grab it. 12 seconds later. Oh, Hammy, you get over here! Oh, Hammy, that's my big toe! Hammy! Is that a rat? How long has that thing been in there for? Oh, uh, sir, did you just accuse Hammy of being a rat? He's a high-breaded cat. He's stupid. Okay, that is one weird-looking cat. But random stuff, can you go more into detail at how you ended up living in this trash can? <laughs> Bro, what? Did you just eat my microphone? Oh, guys, the YouTuber random stuff is literally eating my microphone. He's not getting away that easily. What are you doing? Give me my microphone! <laughs> So that was 100% not me that was living in the trash can. Random stuff, you're literally wearing the same clothes as a guy that was in the trash can. Um, well, the guy that lives in that trash can must just have really good taste in clothes. You stupid. But no, seriously, guys, what we are actually going to be doing in today's video is trying to capture Outlet from the TV show PJ Masks. Because if you guys do not remember, in my last video, we actually saw her, like, over here at our creek. Oh, my God. But unfortunately, she got oh. away. So we are coming back out here today to set up a trap to try and capture her. Now, like, I got this super awesome box right here that we are going to be using as our trap. And I also got this printout photo of Gecko right here that we are going to be using to lure her into the trap with. So I guess we're wasting any more time. Let's go ahead and head over there and set this trap up. So come on, let's go. Rex wants to fight me! No challenge accepted, Rex! It appears that Rex has challenged me to a fight, but there is absolutely no way he is gonna beat me! Because I've been lifting two pound weights for way too long now! Like, I do at least four reps with those two pound weights! Every single day! For the past week! What? But alright, it is time to fight Rex! In the left hand corner, we have a fighter so fearless that Mike Tyson himself was afraid to fight. And you guessed it, it is random stuff. And then on the right side, we got Rex. We'll be back after this short ad break. Alright, we've been wasting too much time. It's time for us to get into the action. We're just gonna run over there full force and I'm gonna absolutely destroy him. Alright, come on, let's go. Ah! Ah! easier than I expected. I guess now we just absolutely demolish Rex. Let's go ahead and head over here to the creek and set up our trap. Oh, uh, but first we gotta go grab the box. I'll be right back. Man, Torg, I can't believe that I actually destroyed Rex in that fight. Hey, That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey. oh. Oh. So I sat there and for about 14 hours, what? not realizing that Rex was the one that hit my back. I will get you back someday, Rex. Oh, Torg, why does my back hurt so bad? Uh, Rex absolutely destroyed you. What? How? I just got done beating him up. This doesn't make any sense. I guess I'm just gonna have to use my super pro manly thinking skills to try to remember Rex beating me up. <laughs> 
Oh, there it is. Let's watch it. Man, Torg, I can't believe that I actually destroyed Rex in that fight. His name is John oh my gosh. Rex did absolutely destroy me. I don't know like how he did that. But I don't know. It does not matter. We need to hurry up and head over here to the creek so that way we can set up our trap. So uh, before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and head over there. So come on, let's go. Oh Guys, look, the creek is flooded. Oh my goodness. Let's go over there and check it out. No way, guys. The place that we saw Outlet at is literally right over here in the water. So now we cannot set the trap up right where we saw her. So I have like no idea what we should do now. Oh my gosh, I have an idea. Let's set the trap up right here. Because right here is the closest spot to the last place that we saw her at. So I guess we're literally just gonna set the trap up right here. But there is one more thing that I do need to set up this trap. I need like a stick. So I'm gonna go grab one real quick. I'll be right back. There was a 100% realistic wolf just chasing me. Why you always lying? I can't believe I made it out of there with my life. But at least now we got the stick. All right, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be propping this box up with this stick. Just like that. And then we're going to take this printed out photo with Gecko right here and put it right down here in the trap. Just like that. And now hopefully what will happen is, is Owlette will see Gecko in there. And then she's going to walk over here. And then she'll hit the stick, making the trap fall on top of her. And like she would not be able to get out. So I guess let's go ahead and set this trap back up. And then just like go inside and wait. Alright, so now the trap is all set up. There is like nothing for us to do besides just go inside and wait. And then we'll like come back out here and we'll check on the trap every so often. So I'm gonna go inside and go feed Hammy the cat. What? So that way he has food. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys whenever we come back out here. Um, goodbye. Don't worry, Hammy! I'm coming! The next day. Alright guys, so it is now the next day, and we are coming out here to go check on our trap that we set up yesterday. Now, we need to try to make this quick because it has been raining on and off, and our creek is actually starting to flood right now. Oh, snap. And if we don't hurry up and get out there, then our trap might be gone. So, I guess for any more time, let's go ahead and head over there and see if we manage to capture Outlet. So, come on, let's go. Man, running is a lot of hard work. What? Good thing I got my super awesome mini bike right here. That was 100% not put there so I didn't have to walk all the way over there. Why you always lying? Oh, let's go use it. Come on. So there I was, sitting down on my super cool bike that I spent all my money on. But at least I look super awesome on this bike. Now let's head over here and see if we manage to capture Outlet. Alright, I'm ready. So here I am, taking off so we can go over to the creek, and then I had to stop and do some epic donuts what? in the dirt, because I am a pro rider. And then I just kept driving over to the creek, and then went through this awesome puddle right here, because I felt like it. And then we arrived at our destination. Alright, so we have now made it over here to the creek, where we set our trap up at. Now we gotta be super careful and make sure that we are keeping a very good bird's eye view out for Outlet. Because, like, I forgot to bring a weapon back here with us. But that doesn't matter. We just need to hurry up and head down here and see if we manage to capture her. So come on, let's go. Oh my gosh! Guys, look, the box is tipped over. Oh my god. But now that could just be from the wind because it's been like really windy and rainy all day. But it also could have been Outlet that tipped it over. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. We need to head over there and lift up the box and see if we captured her. Come on, let's go. No way! Guys, look, part of the box is actually in the water right now. Oh my goodness! So unfortunately, it looks like the water actually tipped over the box. So I don't think that we actually did capture Whoa. her. But I don't know, let's go ahead and set this trap back up. So that way we can try to capture her. Come on. Oh my gosh! 
Guys, she was in our trap! I can't believe this! We literally just captured her! I thought that it was just the water that knocked the box over! Because, like, the water was literally on top of the box! I can't believe this! She was literally inside of our trap! Like, our trap right here was literally sitting in the water song! So this is, like, super crazy! I can't believe that we just captured Owlet! But I don't know, now that we did capture Owlet, make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should do with her! Like, should we open her and see if there's anything inside of her? Or should we let her go. But I don't know, guys. It is, like, super muddy out here, and my feet are, like, really muddy. What are those? So I'm gonna go inside and clear out my $14 million what? shoes, and then read some of you guys' comments to figure out what to do next. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. Um, goodbye. Stuff literally just left me back here all by myself. I'm gonna go sleep underneath this box for safety so I'm protected. Protected. Oh, yeah, this looks super cozy. What? Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! <laughs> 